Uh, hello folks, uh, today we have Stone Cold Hockey on the table. I'm continuing with my 1972-73 series. Uh, haven't had a lot of games on the table. My wife was quite sick and getting her back to health and I've been working quite a bit, subbing, as usually she does all that. And I find that I was getting lots of calls. Uh, so we're going to game number four. Game three was a thriller. New England was ahead 4-2. And Winnipeg came back to tie it in the third. And in overtime, Tommy Webster scored. So New England is now up three games to nothing. So the way you do it is you take your um, symbols for New England. So they have five control, eight attack, seven defense, six aggression and six and four on the pk and for winnipeg since they're at home they're going to be eight on control six attack seven defense five aggression seven and five and for control you take the difference between the two which is plus three so plus three means that new england will be one to nine and winnipeg will be 10 to 20. to check the puck battle number you take the aggression, the two numbers. So it is 11. You take a look at the puck battle threshold chart. And 11 means 14 or more. And the way you roll, uh, this will determine how much time goes by. This will determine if somebody is going to attack or a puck battle. This die, the red die, will see who gets control. And the blue die will check the defense. If it's within a team's defense number, you will go to the defense chart. And if it's not, you'll go to the attack chart. So that's the basis for the game. It's a pretty simple game. And we're going to get right in it. Plays quick. It's a results-based game. Um, all right. So let's just get at her for right now. And so we have three minutes coming off. So we're at 17-minute mark. Our white die is a 20. So we're going to a puck battle. And take a look at the next two numbers, which are a 1-7. So we're going to take a look at... Puck battle 17. Now, Winnipeg is going to start with nine hits. Their stamina was down to two in the last game. So I'm going by the optional rule of um, sort of, uh, what, do, what do you call it? A war by attrition, I guess, where they're so beat up, they're going to start a little tired. So 17 in the first period, puck battle reads, aggression check, minor penalty, also deal one hit. So the blue die is going to be for New England. And the red die is going to be for Winnipeg. And we're going to add one to the aggression check to New England. Because there are a 6 to a 5. So that becomes a 14. That is a 17. So it is going to be aggression check, a minor penalty on Winnipeg. And they're going to deal a hit. So Winnipeg is going to get a penalty. And on the power play is going to be New England. And let's start it off. So New England, their power play is a 6. PK is a 5. So on the power play chart, you will go to plus 1 for New England. 56 plus 1 reads, big save made, defender scoops and clears. So New England doesn't get anything. Winnipeg trying to keep this game close. 60 on plus 1. Defected, deflected pass, action grinds along the board. So nothing there for the New England Whalers on the power play. We go to the next time, so again, so we're going to knock off four minutes. So we go from 15 down to 11. Our die is a white 16, which means it's going to be a puck battle. And we're going to check these two numbers, which is 58. 58 reads, battle back, trailing team hustles to win possession Roll column A attack. If it's tied, which it is, the higher aggressive team deals a hit. New England is the higher aggressive team, so they will deal a hit. If aggression is equal, both teams deal a hit. So all we're going to have is New England is going to deal a hit. And you don't have to write that down. I'm just going to jot her down for right now. And uh, New England's down to eight on the stamina. We have one minute gone by. We're down to 10 minutes. And six, we're now we're looking for control. The red die is an eight. So the control is going to go to New England. And are they going to attack? No, they're not. One on the blue die. New England's a seven, means that they will be defended. So we're going to go to the column defense chart, number 55. 
on this die reads defenders force an off balance shot so right now we got nothing going on offensively we played 10 minutes of the first period it is game four best of seven winnipeg needs to win to stay alive we have two minutes gone by on the clock we're down to eight 20 means another puck battle and we're looking at 45 puck battle minor penalty in the visiting team Home team takes a hit. Winnipeg is down to seven. So we're going to have a penalty on New England and a power play opportunity coming up for the Winnipeg Jets. Winnipeg is a pretty good power play. They're a seven. New England is a four. So it's plus three on the power play chart. First one, 92 plus three reads. Kill zone. PK auto kills this time slot and the next power play. So it is a kill. Nothing doing for the Winnipeg Jets on the power play. Good job by New England. Uh, next roll, we have three minutes gone by. We're now to three left in the first period. Uh, we have a 10. We're looking for control. It is going to go to Winnipeg since it's a 12. And a 10, their defense is a 7. This is an attack. Winnipeg has an attack, 0-0. Zero, zero. The lower the number, the better. And I'm pretty sure 0-0 zero, zero is going to be a goal. Yes, it is. It is going to be a goal for the Winnipeg Jets. So they're going to put it in. Let's see who's going to score the goal. Hopefully it's the Golden Jet, Bobby Hull. 17 means they're going to have two assists. 63 for Winnipeg means it's going to be scored by Ab McDonald. So Winnipeg, Ab McDonald puts it in for the Jets. They take a one nothing lead. We're going to have two assists. First assist is going to 28. Bobby Hull had two assists in the last game. Christian Bortolo will get the first assist. Second assist going to 67, Wally Boyer. So Christian Bortolo picks it up. And Wally Boyer picks up the assist. And it's one nothing for Winnipeg. They're trying to force a game... Five back in New England. There's the roll. We're going to roll a six. That will be the end of the period. So the score after one period of play, it is the New England Whalers zero and Winnipeg one. Getting ready for the second period of play. Here we go. We'll roll it out. It's going to be a four on the timing dice. We're now down to 16 and we're going to have a puck battle again. Surprised how many puck battles he's had so far. Number 13. So we'll go to the second period. Puck battle chart. You're going to go by periods. We're going to go to the second period. Number 13 reads. Aggression check. Minor penalty. Also deal a hit. So I'm going to use the existing rules. Blue die goes to New England. They're going to get a plus one. So that is going to be a seven. This is a 14. So it's going to be a penalty to the Winnipeg Jets. And they're going to deal a hit. So Winnipeg penalty, which means power play coming up to the New England Whalers. So the Whalers trying to tie this hockey game. Their power play is a six, PK is a five. So plus one on power play chart. 65 on plus one, defected, deflected pass, action grinds to a halt along the boards. Nothing there for New England. Coming right back, it's a 68 on the plus one. Sliding defender blocks the shot and clears power play unit forced to regroup. Nothing going for the New England Whalers. So Winnipeg playing really well here off the start. Uh, we've got a two minutes coming off. We're at 14. We're going down to 12. We have a nine. So we're looking for control. And 18, it's going to be controlled by Winnipeg. At 12, it's going to be an attack. As their defense is seven. An attack on an 0-1. That does not look good for... Um, New England, and it's going to be a goal. The Winnipeg Jets have scored again. They now lead it two to nothing. Let's see who picks this one up. Uh, we're going to have a one, which means it's unassisted. The goal scored by number 34, or sorry, number 34 on the chart. Christian Bortolo picks up his second point of the evening, and the Winnipeg Jets are up two nothing here. They're trying to force. A game five come back in this series if they possibly can. We have one minute gone by. We're down to 11 minutes. Five, we're again looking for who's going to be in control. 12 is going to be the Winnipeg Jets. 13 means it's not going to be defended. They're going to attack. So 13 attack on a 66 
is going to read their attacking with a six and nothing's going to happen. Attack eight or nine would have been a slot chance. Anything less than that, nothing. So Winnipeg doesn't get anything off the attack. Going to come back with the next one. We've got three minutes coming off the clock. We're down to eight minutes in the second period. We're going to be looking for control. Five means New England is going to pick up control. Ten means it is going to be an attack. An attack with an 82. Attacking stamina greater than the defense's stamina. So their stamina is an eight. A defense's stamina is a seven. It is greater, so it's going to be a crease chance. Right inside, here comes New England. Crease chance, 34. Goalie 11 plus makes a save. Daly is a six. It is a goal for the New England Whalers. So they get back in this hockey game. A big goal there. Let's just see who's going to pick up the assists and the goals. 20, we're going to have two assists scored by 06. I think that's going to be Tommy Webster is going to pick up the goal. So that was Winnipeg, New England goal here by Tommy Webster. Their big captain leader, he puts it in. We have two assists. First one is going to 76. Second one is going to 29. 76 is Brad Selwood. 29 is Larry Plo. So it's going to be from Selwood and Plo. It is now 2-1 for the Winnipeg Jets. Late in the second period, we have a roll. We have five minutes going off the clock. We're down to three. And the white die is a two, which means somebody's going to get control. Red die is New England. New England coming right back. Blue die is a 16, so they're not going to defend it. This is going to be an attack, an attack of a 62. 62 attack reads, attack of 12 plus scores. New England has an attack of eight. So eight is going to be a slot chance. So New England is in the slot. They're going to get a shot on net. 66 slot chance. Goalie five plus makes a save. Daly is a six. He will make the big save. So New England does not tie this hockey game late in the second period. For the next roll, we're going to have four minutes gone by. That will be the end of the period. We only have a three. We're going to the third period. The score. New England 1 and Winnipeg 2. Winnipeg trying to make it go back to game 5 in New England. Uh, two minutes gone by. We're down to 18 minutes. Going to take a look at the white die. It is going to be a puck battle. Number 45. So we go to the third period. If you take a look, it's divided in periods. We're going to third period for the puck battle. Number 45. It is going to read a makeup call. Minor penalty called on the team with fewer penalty minutes. If even, it's against the visitors. So the team with the fewer penalty minutes is going to be Winnipeg. So Winnipeg is going to be going on the power play. They've had one power play chance. New England has had two. So it's going to be a penalty on New England that makeup call to even it all up. So Winnipeg trying to extend their lead on the power play. They're a seven and New England is a four. Let's see if they can get something. 80, it's a plus three. Number 80 is PK units delivers a huge check and clears deals one hit. So they smoke the Jets. They're down to six on stamina. Comes the next one, 34. This might be a good one at a plus three. 34, it is a slot chance for the Winnipeg Jets. Hit slot chance number 46. Goalie eight plus makes a save. Al Smith is only a five. Otherwise, it is a goal, so it is going to be a power play goal for Winnipeg. They now lead this game three to one. Huge goal there by the Jets. Number 10 means that there's going to be two assists. The goal is scored by number 52. Larry Horning is going to pick up the goal for the Winnipeg Jets. So Horning gets the first one. The D-man goes top shelf from 60 and 52. 60 is going to be Milt Black. And Danny Johnson will get the second assist. And so now the Winnipeg Jets have a 3-1 lead. 
They have approximately 60 minutes to go. They're trying to hold on, trying to force a game five in New England. Uh, we have a five. So that will chalk it down to 11 minutes. We are going to have a puck battle. We've got another 20 here. And we're looking at number 17 on the puck battle chart. 17, we're going to the third period. And it's an aggression check. Minor penalty, deal ahead. So let's take a look at the die we already rolled. We have a three, and it is going to be on the New England Whalers are going to pick up the penalty. They will deal a hit. They're down to five. Winnipeg going on the power play again. Can they put this game away with a power play goal? They're plus three. Number 94, kill zone. PK unit auto kills this time slot and the next one. So they will kill it. And we have eight minutes to go. New England's got to try and get one in here. We have a four. We're down to five minutes to go in this hockey game. And a seven. We're going to check for control. Red die means New England has it. So New England picks it up. It's a two. So it's going to be defended. This is within the seven. So we're going to go to the... Column D for defense, number 48. Defenders force an off-balance shot. So New England does not get a shot. And we're going to go to the next one. It's a four. Now we're going to be within crunch time. So we're going to crunch time. We have a five. We'd be here. So we're now going to be in crunch time. So we're going to re-roll the die. And we're now within crunch time. And this one is a three, so we're going to count off one, two, three in crunch time. It is going to be a puck battle. And with the puck battle, we're looking at a 96 in the third period. And that is going to be go to the enforcer table. So we're going to go to the enforcer table. We've got to throw um, a die. Winnipeg has one enforcer, Steve Cuddy. And New England also has one enforcer. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, we roll a five. Payback. The team with the lower stamina deals one hit. So Winnipeg has lower stamina. They will deal one hit. If stamina is even, both teams deal a hit. Either way, a fight does occur. So we've got a scrap going on. Let's see who's fighting for New England. We have 39, which is going to be Ted Green. For Winnipeg, it is going to be 79. It's going to be Bob Ash. So we're going to go to the fight chart. And we don't have any enforcers. We're just going to go to normal. And we roll a 64 on the fight chart. It Brief brawl. Home player gets it a quick hard shot before they go down in a heap. Um, the game effect, plus one stamina and an automatic column A attack in the next time slot. So the home team gets plus one stamina and automatic column A attack in the next time slot. So they're going to get an attack in the next time slot for Winnipeg. So let's go to the attack chart. It's going to be a 57. And their attack is a six. And nothing's going to happen. They're not going to get anything done. Um, we're going to roll for the next one. I think my daughter just came home. I'm going to have to hurry here. Uh, we're going to go down one time se sequence, and we're going to have another puck battle. And the puck battle is going to be 57. So 57 on the puck battle chart. Will to win. Both teams deal one hit. So both teams are going to deal a hit. For possession, higher stamina gets a crease chance. So New England is going to get a crease chance since they have the higher stamina. Here goes their crease chance, number 23. That looks like it's going to be pretty good. Crease chance 23 is a goal. New England is going to score. That makes it 3-2 to two with hardly any time left on the clock. We have 20 seconds to go. 13 means that it's going to be two assists. It's going to be scored by Tim Sheehy is going to put it in for New England. And there's two assists. They're going to 77 and 48. 
It's going to go to Selwood and Jim Dory. So Selwood getting assists. Jim Dory is getting assists. We have 20 seconds left to go in the game. This will be the last sequence. Uh, it's a two, so it's going to go over the time limit. That's how the game's going to end. The Winnipeg Jets have forced a game five in New England. They win this one by the score of three to two. This is Stone Cold Hockey. I'll talk to you later, everyone.